simplify an expression, all you're really doing is you're uh, getting rid of any grouping symbols and just reorganizing your terms. Okay, so uh, the steps by hand are just to apply any of the rules of algebra that we've talked about, distributing um, using any of the properties. So in this case, we distribute the negative 6 to each term, giving you a negative 6y and a plus 12. Distribute your 4 to each of the terms in the grouping symbol gives you 4y and a minus 4. And then move to the next step, which is just to combine your like terms. So here, in terms of the y's, we have a negative 6y and a plus 4, nets you negative 2y. A plus 12 and a minus 4 nets you plus 8. Okay, and so this would be your expression. Okay, now, when you enter your expressions, there's a couple things that I want you to, to make sure that you do, and that is enter answers in standard form. And what standard form means is you're going to uh, start with the, the, the variables are going to be in alphabetical order. So the X's come before Y's, come before Z's. Okay? And the uh, variables are going to be written, you're going to start with the highest degree term first. So the highest power is written first, the lowest power is written last, and so the lowest power is the power where there's no variable, which is a constant. So all the constants will be written at the end. Okay? So negative 2y plus 8 is proper uh, standard form for this. So you wouldn't say that y is... No, this one, it's, you're not solving an equation because it might be that this is actually set equal to 5 or whatever. It's, it's not necessarily equal to 0. So don't, don't think of the solving until we get to an equation form. Right now, if you're going to use the calculator to do this, uh, what you can do is one of two things. Okay, you could just type your expression in exactly as it appears and then hit enter on your calculator. Okay, however, if you look at the F2 algebra tab, so if you hit this algebra tab up here, Okay, the Algebra tab has a command in it that's called expand. Okay, and so if you type in your expression inside grouping symbols of the expand command and then close it off, again notice that these are the parentheses that are enclosing the original expression itself. And what this will do is it'll make sure it gives you your answer in this expanded standard form. Now, you might have to rearrange the terms using commutative property on your own to write it where the variables are written first. Okay? But uh, it will get rid of any multiplications, any factoring that might occur. Now, what happens if I don't put the expand command on this? So what if I just type in what I have? So negative 6 times the quantity y minus 2 close parentheses, plus 4 times the quantity y minus 1. And then I close this off. And notice I get 8 minus 2y. Is that the same thing as negative 2y plus 8? Yeah. All that would need to happen is you need to reorder the terms. Again, when you write, write your answers, variables come first. Highest degree or highest power of variables will always be first. Okay, so in this particular case, it wouldn't have mattered. If I had written expand in front, so the F2, third command down, expands, and then jump to the end of that line, I can use second function in this uh, cursor key to jump all the way to the end. Okay, so I, if I wrote expand in this exact form that I wrote here and hit enter, it doesn't change the expression at all. There will be times that it does. Okay, if your answer comes back as factors, or something that isn't written in this polynomial form, hitting expand will put it into that form. All right, I'm going to go ahead and talk through these. Again, I'll go through them by hand first, and then I'll go back in and uh, confirm at least one of them with the calculator. All right, so in this first example, if we are going to distribute by hand, and we can distribute this 4 through. We get 1 plus 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times negative 3k is negative 12k. So I wind up with 9 minus 12k. Is that the order that I wanted it? No, I want the variables first. So we just reorder these 
negative 12k plus 9. Okay. Again, uh, you don't switch the signs of the terms, just switch the order of them. Okay. Right, uh, the next example, I'm going to go through these other two here on the calculator, so I'm going to mm -hmm. stop projecting. All right, as we go through this, you can just enter it exactly as it appears. So 7 times the quantity 1 plus 9b to get my b, alpha, the alpha key, and then 0. Close the parentheses, minus 8 times the quantity negative 5b minus 6. Hit enter, and I get my expression. It's already in the order that I want it. 103b plus 55 is my answer. Okay. All right. Yeah, you'll be able to use your calculators for every quiz and test, including the final. All right, and then finally the last example. Again, if I enter it, negative 2 times the quantity negative 6x minus 9, close the parentheses, minus 4 times the quantity x plus 9. Again, if you're entering these, just make sure that you have everything entered properly. Uh, here I get my expression 8x minus 18. It's written in the order that I want it to be. And so these would be my solutions. All right.